Ever wondered why it's called a wisdom tooth? A question that might seem simple on the surface yet hides a deep, fascinating history behind it. We all know about these notorious late bloomers in our oral cavities, right? They're the ones that often make their grand entrance during our late teenage years or early 20s, sometimes causing quite a bit of discomfort in the process. But why are they named after wisdom? Is it because they make us wiser as they grow? Or perhaps they were named by a particularly witty dentist with a keen sense of humor? Well, the answer as it turns out, is not as straightforward as you might think. The term wisdom tooth as we use it today, has a rich and varied history. It has traveled through centuries, languages and cultures, taking on different meanings and connotations along the way. From ancient times to the modern era, the wisdom tooth has been a subject of curiosity, intrigue and even fear in some cases. And yet, despite all the attention it has received, the wisdom tooth remains shrouded in mystery. Its origins, its purpose and even its future are topics of ongoing debate among scientists, historians and dental professionals. But one thing is for sure, the story of the wisdom tooth is a tale worth telling. So how did the wisdom tooth get its name? What role did it play in our evolutionary history? And perhaps most importantly, why do we still have them? These are just a few of the questions we'll be exploring in the coming minutes. As we delve into the world of wisdom teeth, we'll uncover facts and theories, debunk myths, and shed light on some of the most fascinating aspects of human biology. From the origins of the term wisdom tooth, to its evolutionary purpose and significance in modern times, we'll take you on a journey of discovery that promises to be as enlightening as it is entertaining. Stay tuned as we uncover the mystery behind the name of our third molars, commonly known as wisdom teeth. The term wisdom tooth doesn't seem to have a lot to do with wisdom at first glance, does it? But let's take a deep dive into the history and etymology of this term to find out more. The term itself is a bit of a misnomer. It's not that these teeth are particularly wise or enlightened. The term wisdom tooth actually hails from a time when age and wisdom were considered synonymous. You see, these teeth typically emerge in our late teens or early 20s, a period often associated with the coming of age maturity and the acquisition of wisdom. Hence the name wisdom tooth. But let's rewind a bit and trace this term back to its roots. The term wisdom tooth has been in use for centuries. In fact, it can be traced back to the 17th century. The original term for these teeth in Latin den sapientiae, which translates to tooth of wisdom, was later anglicized to wisdom tooth. In other cultures and languages the term wisdom tooth also reflects this association with age and wisdom. For example in Korean, the term for wisdom tooth is sarang ni, which translates to love tooth, as it appears around the age when one starts to experience their first love. In Turkish it's called 20 yas disi, literally meaning 20 year tooth, again emphasizing the age of emergence. It's fascinating how the term wisdom tooth has been used across cultures and languages to signify a stage of maturity and wisdom. It's almost as if our ancestors were trying to impart some wisdom on us through the naming of these teeth. But, contrary to what the name suggests, these teeth don't actually make us wiser. They're just another set of molars that happen to emerge at a later stage in life. So, don't worry if you've had your wisdom teeth removed, it doesn't mean you've lost any wisdom. So, it turns out that wisdom teeth have their name from the age at which they typically appear, a time in life often associated with increased wisdom. But why do we have wisdom teeth in the first place? To understand this, we need to take a trip back in time, to the days of our ancestors. Imagine a world where supermarkets and restaurants didn't exist and food was not as easily accessible or refined as it is today. Our early ancestors had a much coarser diet than we do. They needed to chew hard, raw foods like roots, nuts, and meat, which required a stronger and more robust set of teeth. This is where wisdom teeth or third molars came into play. These additional molars provided the necessary grinding power our ancestors needed to break down these tough foods. However, as humans evolved, so did our diets. The advent of cooking allowed us to soften our food, making it less strenuous to chew. We no longer needed the extra molar power that wisdom teeth provided, as a result our jaws started to shrink over generations, to adapt to our less strenuous dietary needs. But here's the catch, while our jaws have gotten smaller, our wisdom teeth haven't quite gotten the memo. They still try to squeeze themselves into our smaller jaws, often causing discomfort and other dental problems. Now you might be wondering, if we don't need them anymore why haven't they disappeared altogether? 
Well, evolution is a slow process and it takes time for our bodies to catch up with changes in our environment. In fact, some people today are born without one or more of their wisdom teeth. This could be a sign that we are slowly but surely moving towards an era where wisdom teeth might become a thing of the past. So, to answer our original question, we have wisdom teeth because our ancestors needed them to survive. But as our diets and lifestyles have changed, we no longer require these extra molars. So the presence of wisdom teeth is essentially a lingering remnant of our evolutionary past. In today's world, are wisdom teeth more of a boon than a bane? An intriguing question, isn't it? In the context of modern human life, the role of wisdom teeth has indeed become somewhat of a puzzle. Evolution has led us to a point where our jaws are smaller than those of our early ancestors. This reduction in size often leaves insufficient space for wisdom teeth to emerge properly, leading to a condition known as impaction. Impacted wisdom teeth can cause discomfort, infection, and even damage to neighboring teeth. This is a major reason why dentists frequently recommend extraction. So, if wisdom teeth often cause such complications, why do we still have them? The answer lies in the fact that evolution is a slow process. While our dietary changes have occurred rapidly in the grand scheme of things, our bodies have not had enough time to catch up and eliminate wisdom teeth from our genetic makeup. But let's not paint too bleak a picture. Wisdom teeth are not without their potential benefits. For instance, if a person loses a molar earlier in life, a wisdom tooth could potentially fill that gap. Moreover, wisdom teeth, like other teeth, hold a record of our health and history. They can provide valuable information about a person's early life stresses, diet, and even where they have lived based on the isotopes and wear patterns they contain. In conclusion, the relevance of wisdom teeth in contemporary times is a complex issue. On one hand, they often cause complications requiring extraction. On the other, they can offer potential benefits and serve as a fascinating record of our personal and evolutionary history. While they may not serve a critical function anymore, the existence of wisdom teeth certainly gives us something to chew on, metaphorically speaking. So, there you have it. The curious case of the wisdom tooth. We've journeyed together through the intriguing world of this often overlooked part of our anatomy. We've learned that the term wisdom tooth has a historical connotation tied to the age at which these molars typically make their appearance. A point in life often associated with increased maturity and hopefully, wisdom. We've delved into the evolutionary role of these late bloomers. They were once crucial to our ancestors who had a diet that was a bit more challenging than ours, filled with rough, hard-to-chew foods. The robust set of molars served as a handy tool for grinding down these tough edibles, contributing to their survival. As we moved from the past to the present, we explored the current significance of wisdom teeth. In today's world, with our softer diets and smaller jaws, these teeth can often be more of a nuisance than a necessity. They can cause discomfort, crowding and sometimes lead to complications requiring their removal. Yet they continue to be a fascinating subject for dental and evolutionary research. But it's not just about the science or the history. Wisdom teeth in their own subtle way remind us of our connection to our distant past, our evolution and the remarkable adaptability of the human body. They symbolize a rite of passage into adulthood and for some a brush with the world of oral surgery. So whether you've had your wisdom teeth removed, are experiencing their arrival, or are one of the few who never developed them at all, remember, these humble molars have a story to tell, a story that's intertwined with our own human journey. Next time you think about wisdom teeth, you'll know there's more to these late bloomers than meets the eye. Thanks for watching and remember, staying curious is the real wisdom.